Hello and welcome to NBC News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. Nagpur district witnessed a fall in COVID-19 cases as those have come down below 20,000. Though number of persons recovering is reducing, there is a huge gap between new COVID-19 cases and daily recovery. This has resulted in a rise in the recovery rate and decreased active cases. Number of deaths is also going down. Nagpur city witnessed 33 deaths on Friday. 3,159 persons became corona-free, taking the cumulative recovery to 4,43,159 on Friday. The recovery rate too rose to 94.50%. This has led to decrease in active cases. On Friday, district has witnessed 17,054 active cases. As far as COVID-19 deaths are concerned, Nagpur district has witnessed 33 persons succumbing to coronavirus. The number of deaths more in the rural part while less in the city. As per a rough estimate, the rise in rural deaths can be attributed to less State Home Minister Dilip Palsi Patil shower praises on Garchiroli police for gunning down 13 dreaded Naxalites during a fierce gun battle at Paidi Kotmi Forest in Tapali on Friday. Recalling a strange coincidence, Patil said the elimination of 13 Naxals came on the same day when 15 policemen had attained martyrdom in Garchiroli 12 years ago. On May 21, 2009, our 15 policemen were martyred in a Naxal attack. After 12 years, the Garchiroli police have avenged their deaths and killed 13 Nexels on the same day, said Patil. Interacting with the media persons at Nagpur, Patil said that the encounter took place on the Anti-Terrorism Day, which proves upper hand of police in Garchiroli. I have congratulated the officials and jawans of Garchiroli police for the achievement, he said. Patil visited Garchiroli on Friday morning and took stock of anti nexus operation and after the gun battle. Mayor Dayashan Kathiwari garlanded the portrait of late Rajiv Gandhi and paid a rich tribute to him at Punjab Radesh Memorial Standing Committee Office in Nagpur Municipal Corporation Center Office premises. Deputy Mayor Manisha Dawade, Municipal Commissioner Radha Krishnan B, Leader of Opposition Tana Jivanwe, Additional Commissioner Ram Joshi, Sanjay Nipane, Deputy Commissioner Nirbhai Jain and Rajesh Pagat, Ravinder Dhamecha and Additional Commissioner Mahesh Dhamecha were also present. Nagpur Metropolitan Region Development Authority Commissioner and Chairman of Nagpur Improvement Trust Manoj Kumar Suryavanshi too garlanded the portrait of late Rajiv Gandhi and paid a rich tribute. Joint Director of Town Planning R.D. Lande, NIT Executive Officer Lalit Rao, Executive Engineer Rajesh Meghrajani and other officials were also present. Various other organizations like Youth Congress, Nagpur District Rural Congress Committee, Nagpur City District Congress Committee too paid tribute to late Prime Minister and Bharat Ratna Rajiv Gandhi on his Pundatithi. A cash trapped civic body is indulging in a lofty project as Transport Department in its budget for year 2021 and 22 has proposed to construct Parivohan Bhavan at Sita Bharde. In absence of chairperson of subject committee, the budget was presented to Prakash Boyer, chairperson standing committee on Friday. The budget has outlay of Rs 246.18 crore with expenditure paged at Rs 246.15 crore. NMC owns sprawling land where currently more women stands from where city buses and inter-district bus of MSR city ply. Previously also there was announcement about plan to construct a multi-story building and transport plaza but later same was forgotten. The civic body plans of building mall are already gathering dust due to lack of response from private players and its own lack of resources. Ravindra Billave, transport manager, presented the budget at the standing committee hall at the headquarters of Nagpur Municipal Corporation. After inspecting the ongoing detailing work at Police Line Takli Lane, Mayor Deshan Kativari asked officials to undertake feasibility study for widening of the lake. The lake that was on verge of decaying is being revived after Union Minister Nitin Gadkari provided Rs 50 lakhs from its constituency development fund to Nagpur Municipal Corporation to take up the beautification and development work. On Friday, Mayor visited the Takli Lake and was briefed by officials about the ongoing designing plan and how they plan to restore the natural beauty of the surroundings. Once it is fully developed, the Takli Lake will surely add the scenic spot of the city. Incidentally, the area are around the Takli Lake and its vicinity is dotted with lush green cover and once the lake is resorted to its original state, 
it would be the center of attraction for the visitors. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with Invision News. Please take very good care of yourself and family. Keep watching Invision News. Sachi dikhaye, bina chupaye. Thank you.